Welcome back, and uh, I'm being a little too loud there. I can't keep up with that. But hey, guys, welcome back. And if you read the title, you already know what this video is gonna be out. But I ordered something. Um, And uh, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. Uh, it is the uh, Space Wars TIE Fighter. Look at that. Chewbacca's a monkey! Oh my gosh, look at this dude. Okay, so basically, he has all these bags. And uh, I went on AliExpress and I ordered um, a TIE Fighter for $30. Canadian. Um, $30 on AliExpress. It was a deal. So I, I ordered it and I wanted to make a video on it. So it came with a bunch of characters. Or four characters actually. There's the first one. As you can see, some nice uh, torso printing. Um, the hands are a pain to put on. Just like look at like to even put it on, you have to like go like this. Like Smush it down with like as much force and and finally I'll click in but like it's such a pain and it's kind of stiff on the hands like uh, really stiff actually but the arms they're all right actually um but actually the print doesn't look half bad the legs actually come off pretty easily but that's okay the back torso printing very simplistic the head here actually the head looks very good here if I'm just gonna get a normal this is real Lego. Oops. Wait, let me go pick that up. Okay, uh, here is the comparison. This one is real, this one is fake. You focus on that. It actually doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad. The print is getting better. These knockoffs are, are like, yeah, these knockoffs, they're getting better and better. Uh, this isn't a character, this is just real Lego. Next up, uh, we have Han Solo, or he's supposed to be Han Solo. As you can see, I didn't fit the hands in there, but uh, here he is an officer, disguised an officer. You know, if I just gave this to you and you're like, who is this? You'd be like, huh? Um, Cause like, it's based off the movie Solo, where they like steal a TIE fighter or whatever. And there his face is, it does not look anything like the actor who played Han Solo. Like, okay. But it's all right for what it is. For $30, it's regular, like 70, 90. I think it's pretty good. Next ca uh, character here is a Stormtrooper, and I don't know what type of Stormtrooper. But see his hands, you, can, you really need to like push. So here you can see the face print. The face print is all right. Um, the helmet print. It looks pretty good. The pattern, as you can see, it doesn't go all the way around. It's only on the front. Now we have the face here, which is same as the other one, but it looks pretty good. If you zoom up on that. I want my camera focus. Okay, there we go. See? Um, so that's pretty good. That's a good thing. Um, and finally, our last character. Bias Beckett. I don't know. Actually, I think this is the wrong. I think this goes with this. Yeah, that looks better. So, as you can see, they use the same piece. Let me find the piece in Lego. So, they use the same piece. I guess they use the same mold. It's a little darker than the regular one, and they have the goggle print. That's pretty cool. Um, so here we have some pieces that have just a pattern. They don't look bad. These are all printed on, no stickers. See, these will be on the side. And um, now let's just get into the stop motion build. So uh, there we go. Uh, let's get into the build.
Show me the one whose safety deems such destruction. Hey guys! So it is complete. My TIE Fighter is finally done. It looks very nice, very nice. So when I was putting the minifigures together, as you can see, Han Solo's hand, or I guess it's supposed to be outside. His hand felt its hand snapped. Basically, what I was trying to do is their hand is kind of like a little big. So when I tried to smush it down so it would go in, it snapped, which is a little bit of my fault. But that sucks. Um, all these figures look pretty good. I think that for $30, this is a really good set. The instructions were very clear, very easy to understand. Um, I like how they did it. It's pretty cool. But I guess this is not what you're here for. You're here for the one and only TIE Fighter. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. So, we'll be going through a few things here. First thing we're going through is the overall build quality, the, the quality of the bricks. All the bricks came except two, I believe. Two, if you can see here, this one right here, I think it was this one, or this one. I had to use real Lego to replace it since I was missing one. And for these here, this one right here, that's also real Lego. But overall, uh, the building was great. It went smooth. There's only one flaw I think I could say is um, the bags are actually not numbered. So you kind of have to search through every single bag to find the piece you want. But other than that, it's that was tedious. But other than that, I think it looks great. The panels are nice and big. It looks very good like the movie. And I on, overall, for, for like a third of the price, that is not a bad thing to pick up. It was actually 20 with $11 shipping. But I mean, that's how they get you. So here I will show you the cockpit. So you just lift this part up here. You lift this part down. And there's actually no, um, there's actually no um, like seating area. So see at the bottom, it's all just flat pieces. If you can see there. The only thing that, okay, so let's get our TIE Fighter Pilot. So TIE Fighter Pilot, right here. Okay, so one thing I will say about the hands is that they're a little big, so they're kind of stiff to move. So you see, we just pop them in, and then we just lock them in using the, I like that mechanism more than putting them in, because you don't have to, have to squish them in, it just locks in place bring it up and that works pretty good the last thing we'll be testing is the blasters so we're just gonna go on the black here the blasters shoot pretty well I said the blasters shoot pretty well and it got stuck well I guess we'll try the other one usually it flies pretty far as you can see right there it, it just flew so uh, that's good Sometimes it can be a little finicky to put in. Sometimes they'll work, sometimes they won't. But most of the time, it's good. So that is it for uh, my first weapon set. Um, you know, it's a shame, but I think it's really good. For the price, you're getting a third of the price, or almost like, it's 30 bucks, so. And the quality of the bricks is not bad. You can tell between uh, a fake brick and a real brick because if you take a real brick here on every single dot here let me see there focus give me a sec on every single brick there if you can see it says lego it might be a little blurry but as you can see here on the side here there's absolutely no Lego symbol, because that's illegal. 
and as you can see, nice printing. I like how there's no stickers. All of this here, it's all printing. Um, here you see, that's printing right there. Uh, the front here, no sticker, all printing. And then if you go to the top, that's uh, all printing. So overall, the only thing that I have to criticize is the way that they put the bags in. You kind of have to search for it. But overall, this was like such a good deal for me. I just love Star Wars and the original trilogy. And it's just, it's gonna go on my desk right here. And that will look so good. I'll probably make a stop motion soon with the TIE Fighter. Uh, so thanks for watching and um, make sure to subscribe. Uh, you know, I don't wanna beg for subscribers, but um, I, I wanna, <laughs> wanna make money. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, and bye.